Howdy. Just oiling up my best pair of formal shit kickers for a night on the town. Oh, yeah. Cowboys, buckaroos, hat and vest men. Whatever you call them, their name is synonymous with frontier history, taming the wild American West. But Canada, too, had its cowboys, oh, you betcha, with one key difference. Our country wasn't built on blood from the barrel of a gun. Much like today, Canadian cowboys chose to settle their disputes in a more civilized manner by the gentlemanly art of the cowboy slap fight. Famous dealers of five-finger justice include legendary handsmen like Bill the Paddle Clumpet, Big Sissy Jim, and Wyatt Sock, though none could hold a candle to the most feared slap fighter of all, Bash Perkis, inventor of the much-dreaded East Cooley Clout. So legendary was Perkis' signature slap that he once held off a Blackfoot invasion simply by displaying his palm. Word of his deeds spread across the continent, and soon, well, like any Canadian who stands out in his field, America came calling. Bash was hired to become sheriff of that den of lawless iniquity and vice, Dodge City, where upon assuming his post, on the first day, he ordered an angry mob to give up their guns, or else they could, quote, talk to the hand, talk to the hand, talk to the hand. He was killed six seconds later. I'm Ron James, and that is history. Yodel, yodel, hee hoo.